So as you can see here, declaring the variable greeting, and then I'm giving it a value of hello, and then I am printing this value. But later on, I'm changing this value to hello with a lowercase h. So this is different to that. And then I'm writing out the output. So if we run this program and see what we get at the output. So if I go here, click on run, and as you can see here, we've got string hello with a case h, and we've got string hello with a lowercase. So how does C Sharp actually do this? So behind the scene, what happens is, so C Sharp has two ways of storing variables in your computer's memory. One, which is stack, and the other one is called the heat. Stack is used for all the variables that are of value type. So that means integers, char, bit type, and so on. But with strings, because they are objects, they are stored on the heat. And all that gets stored on the stack is the address pointing to the location on the heap. So here we have location one. So as you can see, this address over here is pointing to this location. But when we change the word hello to hello here, what happens is C sharp disconnects the line and the address over here. So it forgets about that one and says, ah, address one, I don't need to worry about that one. Instead, I'm going to use address eight, which has the new string. So going back to the code, when we allocated hello lowercase here, C sharp removed the reference to address one and instead changed the reference to address eight here, which has the new string. So that is why string is known as a reference type, while other variables are actually stored directly on the stack over here and they are not stored on the heap. And you might be wondering what happened happens to the word hello at address location 1 now that we are using location 8. If, if there are no longer anything that is referencing hello value here and C sharp garbage collection as part of the CLR runtime of .NET, it will come clean up this memory address here. So you don't have to manually clean up your heap. The CLR runtime garbage collection process will do it for you. So it will go, ah, this string over here, we don't need it. So I'm going to remove it completely from the memory. And the same would happen again if you were to change the value here to something else. It would get stored in the next memory address. And then the address here would change to, for example, 9 and so on. And the old value will eventually get removed by the garbage collection process.